Hey y'all, hey y'all, it's this time of the week to be checking, see what I can pick out at the garden to put in jars or put in the bags to put in the freezer and look what I come across. Purple bell peppers. Isn't that a pretty color? That'll go good in some stir fry. I think we only got two heels. That's the sad part. And look how big the bell pepper, the green bell pepper. Look how big it is. Got a lot of little ones. A lot of little ones. There's a pine cone want to get stuck in there. Yeah, we got that many uh, bell peppers that we can put in jars, the green kind. And I guess they might turn yellow or red when they get big enough. Oh, that's another purple. Two purple ones right there. They almost look black. Then we got the banana peppers. You see, that one's that one got a lot in it. Banana peppers, which I still got a lot of these in the freezer. And yeah, come on down here. You got to come to the hot house. Cause these are the hot peppers. The smaller they are, the hotter they are. I guess that's what they say. And when these have a lot on them, that's right down my husband's alley when they. He have a lot of his favorite kind. And I see some turning red, so that means they're about ready to pluck off. Look at that. Look at all down in there, all them peppers. Put up all the way down there's peppers. Peppers and peppers and peppers. Yeah. Look at that, that's a, that's a hot kind. Look, all that is row right here. I think this is Canyon, I'm not for sure. But see, we got red many heels of those, which they'll go in the freezer too, but I don't put in uh, jars. I put some in jars and some in the freezer. And this has got red many on there. And they're big size, but still got a lot of growing to do. Even so, that one is that red one is ready to pick. But I was so. Uh, amazed by the um, those purple or black, I don't know what color they're gonna be, but they're real dark. Look at it, all these is, is just loaded with peppers, and that's my husband. He likes peppers, not like but love. Look at all in there, and we got two long rows of peppers that will all go in the freezer. So I just I'm just amazed by these right here. These bell peppers and how big this one is. My husband told me to pull it, but I'm gonna let it stay on there and see what it turns, what color's gonna turn. Yeah, this is uh some nice ones. And all of them is um see we have two long rows. Let me stand back. This long row right here, and that long row. All the way down is peppers, and yes, I will put them in the um we plant a garden so we'll have it to, in the winter time. And look, the beets that he just planted. So, look, there it go. That's the beets. With all this clover in here, but the clover helps it grow, I think, for some reason. But the beets is already coming up. So I can get to make some more beet juice, beet powder. But I'm not going to put none in the jar, I don't think, unless we eat some more of them that I just... Yeah, the beets is really coming up. I guess we need to come out here and get these um, clover things out so we know what's what. But my husband, he knows what's what because well, he planted on that little thing that he got. Yeah, they're coming up really good. Keep on with this rain and stuff. I'll be eating some of the um, some of the leaves. Look at that. Look at that. You can tell the beets because look at the stem, how purple they are. Yeah, we need to come out here and clean up around them so we know what's what. Maybe that'll be, well, after the rain while my husband work one day, i come out here and clean it out while he's at work. Or oh, I could wait for him to get home, but I'll I probably start on it whatever day it ain't going to be raining. So there won't probably be none, no time this week. And yeah, I'm, I'm proud of them already standing tall. Look at that. That's the beats. Look at that. Some more beets. 
you know, take one little bit to make a lot if you did like they did the last um the last one that we got you see we got two rows of those with the beets too even though the, we got this whole row from one end to the other this whole row from one end to the other that row over there from one end to the other beets so yes i will be making many many um some more beet powder and beet juice because we drink beet juice not every day but we drink it we get a share of it and and then we drink the jamaican um hibiscus and that's really good too we drink a lot of that because we can get that at the um international stores don't have to worry about trying to find that anywhere because the international stores have that and it's good for you it's jamaica jamaican hibiscus and it is really 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 good look the beast is coming up over here look at that look at that yeah, we're really gonna I hope they come and he told me when they should be ready so look at that some more yeah I need to get out here and um and work in work with this get all this uh, clover mess out because I don't know how you get rid of it if you don't pull it up because it is the beets is really coming up in there maybe when he plant this crop we have enough to last it to the next planting for the next crop Cause I think we got plenty of seeds to um to get them in the put them in the ground. Cause this it's right really coming up. And he planted these double rows. See, you can uh, then come back over to this side over here where he got um where he sold double rows. Cause look, they're coming up. Look at that. It's all in this clover, but last year we didn't take the clover up, but they grew up and got and made I mean big beets, nice beets. And I hope that's what happened. Um that's what happened this year too. And they sold some cilantro over here in this little spot just to see. And last year he did good with cilantro. We had cilantro all during the, the winter. But um and it's and they put it in another spot too in case some this one didn't work. But yeah. Uh, now he out here feeding the um, chickens yeah, um, for the rain come in because I'm feeling a few drops now. He cut the grass. He weed eat it beside the um, the road and stuff. Now he's back here with his chicken giving them water. And, um, so I'm back here looking. And, um, looking at the feeds on the tree. They are huge. The man came and picked some yesterday and look how he look at my hand look you see look how big that big is he didn't pick these because these is not exactly right right yet and so this year the year good i don't know if i pick any leaves off since i don't got enough big um i mean these things are big a lot of green ones still left a lot of green ones all up there it's nothing but some figs i haven't made my fig newtons yet but i guess when this man come this week i tell him he have to wait about a week or two to pick again because we haven't had just dehydrated a little bit uh -uh. but he comes every other day and pick them and look at that bush right there ain't it pretty look at it Big old blooms. Big, big blooms. I forget what you call this vine. And this is at the back of the house. Pretty blooms every year. And I cut this back way back, nothing but sticks in it. And it blown down. Yeah. And, um, the pears, the the um, squirrels and got all what they want to eat out here. There's some, there's some on the ground. There's some on the ground. There's still some in the tree, but they have had their share of the, uh, pears. And they get real big, but we can't never get any because of the squirrels. Get them before we get them. And yet, I just called out to the great farm. And uh, the time that we see when they open, I think they said the 19th that they, it'll be the first day open. So 
do with some um, black grapes and some scuffed uh, uh, grapes. Because I've been sitting in the store, I said, I might call up there and see when they grapes going to be ready. Because I like to get them yeah, and pick them, put them in the refrigerator and go back and eat them like that when they get kind of cool. But my husband got some of these persimmons off the, off the ground because they don't fell off the ground. This the little kind of persimmons. We got the big kind in the front and they were out before they um, get right. But yeah, he did a good job cleaning the yard today. And I did a good job in the house. I stayed, stayed in the house out his way because when he cut grass, uh, he had his um, head set on. And so no use me going out there. I can't even get out. I don't go. I don't bother when really when he cutting grass or doing feeding the chickens or whatever because I know he's busy and he'll have a busy the whole week um, at work and all. Uh, but yeah, I can say that my family got a little rain because they um uh, they standing tall. Yeah, they standing tall. That rain really helped. And all these flowers y'all see come from seeds that I say during the, um, when the hot weather's over and it dries out, I get, take them in the house, like I've been saying, even the patient plants, they doing good since it rained. I see a snake plant back there. I wish I could take, I wish I could take these in the house like I do my, uh, lime tree, which is that right there. No, that's the lemon one. And the lime is over here. That's the lime. And I got an um, avocado growing in one of these buckets right here. I can't find it. I need to I need to um tag it. But I spot oh here it is. You see? I gotta take that up and put it in the house so the um live and get bigger during the uh, the winter time. And my earth, mint, and stuff. I'm gonna be plucking some of that off and um, taking in the house. But yeah, all my um, flowers are standing good. I just got the heat up there now. And my husband shook up some of these um, azaleas around the, the house. But I'm so proud of them. Um, proud of them standing up because of. Because we didn't hardly get in the rain. But probably get some this week, so I'm not going to complain. I ain't going to complain if we get too much, because I've been complaining about um, too much, and then we won't get none again. You know, but anyway, yeah, I enjoy walking around my uh, yard and seeing what's what and what's been came back then. Looking okay. Yeah, because I thought that one was pretty too. Really pretty. Yeah, the ones around the house, patient plants that say the seeds on them, but I haven't seen too many seeds on them this year so far. But I should have enough up there where I can find a few so because when I see my throw it back in the bucket. Because uh, we what seeds we say we reuse them when it's time to put them back in the dirt to come up. And all that right there is not but save seeds. All these flowers in my yard is from save seeds. Yep. So, hope y'all enjoy walking my yard because I like to see stuff as it um, be growing and Western came back and has stuff doing in the yard. And if I need to give them anything to drink or I don't put it, try to put them on fertilizer to them because it'd be so hot to, it might burn them up. So, just walking around in my yard. You know, those are butterfly bushes, and the butterflies really be out uh, in them. I got some over there, some over there. And yeah. My husband came out here, he was going to cut all the cucumbers fine down, and I think he stopped and he's going to let see what to do because. I'm not putting no more cucumbers in the uh, jars. And you can miss one day for coming, and you come out here and you find them. Look at that. I was just out here yesterday. Let's get this one, because I can peel it. It's still, it's still um, to eat it. 
and try to get it off the vine. So you still eat it, just peel it. Oh Lord, there's some more. Probably go in the house and um, get something to put them in. I'll them in the pile to come back. These are the um, small cucumbers, the pickling cucumbers. But I like to eat these because the seeds are not that big inside. So look at that, four already. And I haven't even walked the distance. And I just picked the okra yesterday. And I see some. The so okra's on. I don't have any peeking. I don't like for the okra to get big. But I guess that can stay another day. If we get a lot of rain, that means I have to check it come out early. But I see one that can't be picked. Yeah, this one here can be plucked. You see? You know how big that one is? It's not big, big, but it's just right there. The um, picking for not to get any bigger. Put that one in my pocket because I have to take the cucumbers in. I'm going to see if there's any more cucumbers out here. The vines are still pretty and green. See, that's my little pile right there, so far. See, there's any more okra while I'm out here. I see a little one, but I let that one stay. Watch, I'll come back, it'll be so big. So, there's another big one over there. I need to, um, not so big, but I better go and pick it while I see it. Let's go over here and get it. You see, look at it. Just pick it. Without turn the vine in. I should have bought some. Um, I'll take two off that one. So that's these two that came off. And I, as soon as I take my house, I wash them. I wash them off good and um, go and put it in the freezer. Because they last until the frost um, hit them. Then it'll be burned. I ain't seen no more. I got nothing on my arm. I'm gonna be itching. I got to get in the shower when I get in the house. I'm not gonna be itching. I don't see any more. I see this. I let these. I let them grow a little bit more. So I let that one grow a little bit more. I let that one grow a little bit. Let that one grow a little bit more. I'm going to come back out here to be too big, and I said, I should, I am going to say, I should have got it when I saw it, was, before it got that big. There's when I get this one. So, I'm just a big tree by the road. They really picked that one plain yesterday. Yeah, I think, I'm going to get this one. I'll let that one stay. I'll check it tomorrow in between the rain if it be raining. That one. And that one. I'll let that one stay to tomorrow too. And there'll be another one right there. Of this one. To get tomorrow. If it rain at night, I'll make sure I have to get it off. Huh. Yeah. Those are the left this big. I cut this hard. This one. Let me see. These things are so sweet. I let them pick them on. But anywho, let's walk up here see if they come and go over here. But the moth, I come out. I miss them. If it ain't ran hard, ran hard, I don't come out. There's another one. That's a little one, but I'll check it anyway. So we got a handful. We'll have to go in the house and get something if I can put, like, put these uppers in my pocket. And, um, I think it can fit in my pocket. Yeah. It fit in my pocket. And I just told my husband, Dave, to um, just plant some.